The Play Flood is the number one power play in Madden 24. It's the best play in Madden 24 for a variety of different reasons, and I'm going to show you why in this video. Now, if you want to get my entire Tight Sots Halfback Week offensive ebook, I'm going to leave a link to that down in the description below. You can get access to that by joining the Patreon for just $10. We have 11 offensive and defensive ebooks in there right now, and we're dropping another one later tonight, so make sure you're in the Patreon. The only setup for this play that I like to do is I like to streak the left side receiver. With this right side receiver, what I like to do here, you can leave him on his route or put him on a smart routed in. I really prefer the smart routed in route. What you're going to see in terms of how this play interacts with main coverage is this corner route is going to win to the sideline, and you're going to be able to throw that route. That corner route, in my personal opinion, is the best corner route in the entire game. Now, the other benefit of the play flood is you also have these middle of the field reads over the middle where you can take a nice little check down to the tight end. We know drag routes are really effective this year, so I really recommend using those to attack man-to-man -man coverage. So the user is going to have to basically jump down to take the tight end drag or go to the corner. So essentially, they're going to play somewhere over on the right-hand side. And the beauty of this play against man-to-man -man coverage is you have this backside dig which is one of my favorite routes for beating man coverage pretty much every single year. When he cuts to the inside, um, he should be able to consistently beat man coverage. Now, if you know that you are playing a man-to-man -man, uh, defense, you might want to go ahead and maybe block your tight end and then leave this um, that little angled drag route and utilize this deep post. If it's a man coverage, this deep post should be a one-play touchdown up and over the top of the defense, and it's one of the most consistent man beaters this year. So as you can see, Flood has a lot of versatility and a lot of options for you offensively. Now, what makes Flood, I think, the best base play in Madden 23 is what it can also do for you in terms of his ability to attack zone. This is a baseline and press cover four, and you're going to see there's literally almost nothing in this game that is going to consistently defend this corner route to the left-hand side. A quarter flat or a, a cloud flat will not defend it out of Tampa 2 either, which I will show you here. This is a baseline and press cloud flat. And what you're going to see is this corner route will run right over the top of the defender and you can put it in that window. Now you might say, well, that's okay. But what about like maybe dropping the guy into a backed off cloud or like not pressing out of a cover two? If they do that, then typically number one, you can hit your running back quick to the flat. But if you just wait on this a little longer, this corner route will still come open against this defense. The other really cool part is my match coverage is on. And this year, match coverage does not really work like it did last year, at least for right now. And so what you're going to notice here is against match coverage, it's really going to play almost like man coverage. And we're going to be able to hit this corner route consistently against that as well. So there's really nothing they can do um, to stop this. I will show you one little adjustment that they can do uh, to try to counter this a little bit. But I truly think this is the most powerful play in Madden because there's not a whole lot in this game that is going to consistently guard this corner route. As you can see against cover three, I'm able to throw it. One big piece of this play is that I am running this with my tight formation to the short side of the field. I think that is really, really important. Um, or I apologize, like the side that I want to throw the running back or the corner route is to the short side. So here's a backed off cloud flat. And what you'll see again, if I wait on this, I could free form it up and it'll get over the top of the cloud flat just like that. So there's a lot of versatility in this base play and it makes it, I think, the most powerful play in the entire game because there's not a whole lot they can do to cover the corner route. Now, the one thing they can do, of course, you might know, uh, to cover the corner route is to user it. So if they're going to user it with their user to take this away, then what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to check down to this backside dig over the middle. Hopefully actually holds on to the ball. But this is why Flood is one of the best passing plays in Madden 23 because of its ability to be able to force the defense to have to make a, a massive, and I mean a massive amount of adjustments to even give them a chance to be able to defend this play. All the while, you have a really great options um, against man coverage and some solid checkdowns against zone. Guys, if you want to get this entire offensive ebook, join the Patreon today for just $10. We break down the entire Cincinnati Bengals uh, playbook. We're actually updating it with a couple new formations. And we also have a ton of other ebooks available in the Patreon that you can check out as well. You get everything for just $10. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.